This is the Fatanda portable handheld fan. It is a rechargeable USB powered fan. It can also act as a power bank, which is a pretty cool function. It comes with an instruction manual. The instruction manual isn't much more than a bunch of pictures that show you some uses for it. It gives some notes on operation and product features. You kind of have to decipher them a little bit. They're not exactly completely straightforward or the easiest to understand. And it also talks about how you have to take off the silicone and install the battery, but mine came with the battery pre-installed, so I didn't have to do that. This is the actual fan. This silicone here and this handle is very similar to a Nintendo Wii remote or a Wiimote if you've ever used one of those. The feeling of the uh, outer covering of the Wemo is this is kind of what this feels like. It's nice, it has a soft grip on it. On the back there is this hidden little pocket here. And this is where you have the micro USB slot to charge the device and then the USB out if you're using this as a power bank to charge your phone. When you plug it in to charge, this little red light blinks. I uh, don't know exactly how long this lasts on a full charge because I haven't used it through an entire charge, um, but the instructions do give some guidance. It says uh, on gear one, which is the lowest speed, it can use four to five hours. Gear two, three to four hours, and gear three can last two to three hours. So that's an approximation, of course. If you're just using the light on the back, it should last five hours, according to, again, the instructions and the Amazon product description. I have not tested that. I will say this took a very long time to charge. I left it plugged in almost all day. Once it's done charging, this red light changes solid. It doesn't change color or anything like that. So that's something to note. Another thing I noticed as my daughter was playing with this today, uh, my daughter who is two really loves it by the way, but I noticed that this fell out and I wasn't sure what this was. I looked at it and it says foot pad on it. And what I noticed was if you stick it in here, it kind of gives you the ability to stand the fan up a little bit. I'm going to move this over one more. So if I have it on, I can prop it up, and now it's blowing air across at me. I did just turn it on. You see there's a blue light when it's on. This is speed one. Speed two, a little faster. Speed three, this is the fastest. Now if you want to use the light on the back, you hold in the power button for a long press, and there's the LED light. Now you'll notice when the fan is running, the light is a little dimmer than it is when it's not. I assume that's because it's not splitting power. So if I were to turn on the fan again, you'll see the, the LED brightness dims a bit. And then to turn off the fan, you just hold, or the light rather, you just hold in the power button again, and then it turns off. That light is a pretty good brightness. It's not overly bright. It's nice and soft. Even on the first gear, I'm sitting maybe a foot away from it, and it's giving off a lot of air. But I can see it being really nice. I like that it has this wrist strap on it, uh, and I really like the function that I can use it as a power bank. This is something that I'm going to keep with my other rechargeable lights that I have around the house uh, in case of a power outage, uh, especially because the feature to use this as a power bank to charge my phone would be very helpful in the event of a power outage. All in all, I say it's a pretty good product. It, I've been playing with it probably for four or five hours now, and there's no real indicator that it's getting low on battery. The LED light doesn't change a different color or flash a different color or anything like that. It's really just when it's plugged in, it's blinking red. When it's fully charged, it's solid red. When the fan on, it's blue. When it's off, it's off.